So you're an iron warrior. Great. Another psycho marine. Chaos marine. Whatever. You're not gonna go on a rant about sadistic torture methods or have a sudden bout of homicidal rage, are you? Because I've had enough of that from the other guys. Don't insult me. I am not a blood-crazed beast or a madman. Well, you are a psychomarine, so you do engage in excessive acts of cruelty, right? Cruelty is your word. A part of your morality. An irrational, pointless consideration standing in the way of carrying out efficient warfare. It has no place on the battlefield. Ah, so you're just dispassionate about your cruelty. I'm not sure that's better. Well, moving on. How would you describe your method of war? Pragmatic, efficient, relentless, and unyielding. Death, suffering, hardship, all irrelevant. Regardless of the circumstances, our objective will be achieved. You can count on that. Alright, that's intense. Uh, why don't you tell me about your recruitment process? You wish to know about our reproduction. Very well. Whoa, 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 whoa. That, that, that's not what I meant. Our most efficient method for replenishing our losses was the Demonculaba. Oh, so you're just gonna keep going. Uh, okay. The Demonculaba was a combination of the biological properties of gene seed and the warp's powerful energies. The Demonculaba were vessels that elevated normal humans into something actually useful. This isn't where I thought this was going. Human females are altered by having their flesh stretched and mutated beyond normal limits, becoming bloated, ugly flesh things. But they serve their purpose. Aspirants are surgically implanted within the confines of the female's flesh to facilitate the metamorphosis. When the Demantialaba is ready to give birth, they are cut open to release the newly formed Iron Warrior. I wish I was deaf. Of course, the new marines are born without skin, so we must sew- Wait, wait, just stop. If I hear any more, I'm gonna lose my lunch. You have a weak stomach. No, I'm just a normal human with normal human sensibilities. That's the problem. Look, don't get me wrong, the Empire commits its fair share of war crimes. But what you're describing is just... Necessary. Ah, <sighs> whatever. Let's just move on, please. You're not gonna try and do that stuff here, are you? We lack access to enough savage morticians to conduct such an operation at this time. That's not a no. This conversation has become aimless. Am I hired or not? Well, I've hired a world eater and a night lord. So clearly I'm mentally unwell. Of course you're hired. Commander, I have returned from my assignment. Here are the casualty reports. You're back already? Let me see that. I... What? 45,000 casualties? You just started the operation yesterday. How did you lose so many men? Battle. Oh yeah, you think? I want details now. I utilized a battalion of stormtroopers you lent me by ordering four frontal charges on the enemy's fortifications. I continued with repeating waves of attack until the enemy's weapons began to overheat from constant fire. When they were weakened, I launched a final assault with the reserves. Finally, to break the enemy, I ordered an artillery barrage on the enemy position. That is the battle report. 
can't believe I have to ask this, but you did order a withdrawal before you started the barrage, right? Of course not. The enemy could have regrouped. You fired upon your own troops. We achieved victory. Why does it matter? Wait. You won? Of course. In less than a day? Yes. Huh. Well, they were just stormtroopers. I mean, we're basically recruited to die. Okay, carry on. <laughs>